In today's episode, me and my group of experts, and by experts I mean a bunch of nine-year-olds, we're going to analyze, test, and deflect frag grenades. Only here in PUBG Mobile Theory. Cuckoo everyone, welcome back. I hope you're having an amazing day, so let's go right into it. If I need to describe frag grenades, I will say that it is the only element in this game that can make you look like a complete doo-doo. <laughs> Especially when you're trying to rush a house full of enemies. Believe me when I tell you, you don't want to be this guy. There's no flex tape in the world that can fix the damage. Why are we still here? Just to suffer. Impressive. You can actually bounce two grenades if you didn't know. And if you don't want to waste your frags, you can still try this with some apples. Something really interesting here is to know the amount of grenades you need to destroy a vehicle. And please do not try this at home guys, I'm a professional PUBG mobile tester. Ooh. Let's try that one more time. So for example, for a buggy, it will look like you only need two grenades to destroy it, but it's actually a little bit more complicated than that. You want to be really careful where and how you're going to throw the grenade. This Dacia took 5 grenades to be destroyed, which is a lot and you can decrease this amount by 2 grenades if done correctly. So make sure you have a correct timing while throwing a grenade. Look how far the grenade is spawning from the vehicle. And don't worry, it pretty much didn't lose any damage, so let's try this again. The correct way to do it is that you want to place the grenade exactly below the vehicle and by doing this you can have amazing results. And instead of using 5 grenades, you can decrease that amount to only 2. You probably don't know this, but I used to play in the official Pochinki baseball team. So let's see if it's possible to deflect a grenade with a pan. I'm so ready, let's do this. Not the best timing, but it actually worked. I wouldn't say it's the best strategy to deflect grenades if someone is rushing you, but you got to admit that it's going to be really epic if you can kill your enemy like this. And if you're wondering, this doesn't only apply to frag grenades, let's try with a smoke now. I'm getting really good at this to be honest. I would totally recommend you try this, it's so freaking fun. There should be a competition or world record to see how far you can deflect a grenade. And you can try this with any other melee weapon if you don't find a pan. Of course, do not try to deflect a Molotov cocktail, it's not going to work. Same if you try to deflect it with bullets, it's not going to work. Simply because bullets trespass the grenade even if you're throwing in the air. For that reason, you cannot explode a Molotov cocktail in the hand of your opponent. The same thing applies to frag grenades, which in my opinion is a missed opportunity. If you are new to the game, take into account that a grenade explosion will not damage your helmet and your vest no matter the level they are. Here are some quick tests of how far you can throw a frag grenade. And for the last tip, this test is actually really interesting. No matter how thin the opening is, if you manage to correctly block your view from the grenade, like for example sitting in front of this pole, you will not get any damage, but this doesn't apply to heights, where you can see your opponent actually got knocked. 
That will be everything for today's episode, I really hope you enjoy it. Don't forget to leave a like if you want to see more of these type of videos. Comment down below what theory you want us to test or if you want us to bust a meat. Thank you so much to our sponsor for helping us spend more time on YouTube to bring you great content. Also, thank you so much to our amazing subscribers who helped me record this series. I hope you have an amazing day. Thank you so much for watching and I will snap you soon. Tschüss.